So you may have seen that some poultry farmers are feeding turmeric to their layers chickens. So and you may wonder what are some of the benefits of doing this. In this video, I'm going to show you eight benefits of feeding turmeric to your layers chickens. Second, how to prepare this turmeric that you're going to feed to your chickens, and third, what amount are we going to put in either our feeds or the drinker? Because if you go beyond or below this amount, there, there are some, some devastating effects that may occur in your layer ticket and you don't want to cause something that you do not presume that will happen. So please watch this video to the end. And if it's the first time here, please ensure that you do subscribe to this, to, to this channel. I do make such kind of videos, indicative videos that you know, may be helpful to farmers. So, here are the benefits. The first benefit is that it increases the yolk weight. And we all know that the egg or the chick develops from the yolk. That's where the embryo starts to develop during hatching. And when the yolk is much heavier than normal, it may contain some nutrients that may be helpful during the embryo development and that is very vital for to, so that we can have a healthy chick that will develop well and able to survive during the brooding process. The second benefit is that it improves or helps the cellular environment to be the required environment because this is where there is calcium deposition and if the environment is good that means that the calcium deposition process will take place with more ease. The third benefit is that the shell of the egg will be much weightier and will be thick. We know that sometimes you have seen some eggs may contain some very thin shells that may just crack by just pressing the egg like this and such eggs may not be preferred by most consumers because sometimes sometimes consumers may feel that the eggs may contain some, you know, some sort of poisons, or the, you know, the egg may, you know, may, may not be up to standards. But also, such eggs are not preferred by hatcheries because they, are, they may not hatch, or the chick which you hatch from there will be a weak chick which will not survive, and that may lead to losses because it will take space during the hatching in the in an incubator. So, if you give to make to our chickens, the egg will be will have a thick shell and also the shell will be much weightier. The fourth benefit of giving to medic is that it will help the chicken have a better weight or it or rather it may help in increasing the weight of the chicken. We know that layers for layers to start laying eggs they're supposed to have a certain amount of weight which is usually about 1.5 kilograms and if the layers is below this kilo, this kilogram it will not lay eggs because it will be presumed to be unhealthy and when you give to make to our chickens it, it, will, it is going to help you know gain weight and our chickens will start laying eggs because now it will have enough energy for maintenance and the feeds that now it will be consuming will be for production of eggs and because now we have seen that it is helping in increasing the weight of the layers, it can also be used to increase the weight of broilers. And I'm going to make a video about that and explain all the aspects on how it helps broiler production. The fifth benefit of feeding turmeric to a chicken is that it increases the feed intake. So that means that it acts as an appetizer for the chickens. And we know that when the chicken eats more feed, it's, it's going to be more productive and also it's going to lay more eggs and gain weight, you know, and that is what farmers usually want. The fifth benefit or the sixth benefit of doing this is going, it is going to decrease the cholesterol level in blood. We know that the cholesterol level in blood may cause, this, may cause certain diseases such as heart attack and that heart attack occurs when the cholesterol forms some sort of clot in the blood and when this blood clot appears in the blood vessels found in the heart it's going to cause a heart attack which may lead to sudden death of the hen and that may lead to losses imagine if that happens to almost 10 chickens when they start laying it is going to be devastating for you as a poultry farmer the sixth benefit or the seventh benefit of feeding demand to a chicken is that it acts as an antioxidant 
an antioxidant is a substance that removes all free radicals that may be present in the body or blood of the chickens and this free radicals usually causes diseases such as cancer which may be negative when it it occurs to your chickens and the final benefit is that it has hepatoprotective characteristics and the curcumin in the turmeric you know helps the river not to be degraded it helps the river survive from all kind of toxins because the river you know is, is the one which is used to remove all the toxins that may be present in the blood or in the feeds when they are consumed so how do you prepare this turmeric so that you can feed to your chickens so the first one is is that the first step is that you have to obtain the turmeric from either the market or the farm and for me i will advise you you know we plant turmeric so that you can have a place whereby you can control the supply you can control the inputs the kind of fertilizer that you're going to use if you're going to do an organic turmeric you can just put organic so that you know that some chemicals that some farmer, other farmers may use maybe have a negative impact when you use that certain turmeric to your chickens the second step is that you want you have to wash the turmeric very well so that you can remove the mud and there's no need to peel the turmeric the third step is that you have to grate or cut the turmeric into thinner pieces so that you can help dry faster so that the drink so that the process of drying faster may so that the process of drying may be much faster and you may note and you should note that turmeric may stain either the grater that you're going to use or the knife or also it may stain your finger so it is advised to use a specific you know may just take a grater and say that this is what you'll be using to create and also you may wear some sort of gloves so that you can prevent the stains from sticking on your hands the fourth step is that you have after a grate you have to dry them and you can dry it through two ways either you have to sun dry or dry through an oven and when drying through an oven you have to ensure that you put the lowest amount of heat so that it may dry slowly slowly until the dryness leads to a crunchy dryness on the on the turmeric and the fifth step is have to have to ensure that you turn the turmeric each and every time so that the drying process may be much faster and the sixth step is that when you when the drying process have completed now yeah, now you have to bring in the dried turmeric and then now you have to grind it using a, either a blender a food processor or a coffee grinder and you have to grind them until they have this thin or fluffy powder so that you can put when you mix the feeds you just be just mix very well or when you have to mix with water just it you able to dissolve very well in water and the final step is that you have to store this turmeric in airtight containers so that you may prevent instances of other substances getting into the turmeric powder or maybe also you have to prevent instances of contamination or, or spoilage so now that you have gone through how to prepare this turmeric now we have to look on how can we or what amount are we going to put in either our feeds or water because if you go beyond what is required it is going to cause some devastating effects and you are supposed to give about one percent inclusion level that means that for every 100 grams of feeds or 100 millimeters of water you're going to add one gram of turmeric and for every one kilogram of feeds or one liter of drinking water you're supposed to add 10 grams of turmeric and as a dance for me want to chickens to give you more eggs so that you can make more profit click on this video right here i made it and it's going to give you all the things that you can use so that you can get more eggs.